Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I got Bring the Chaos, and I'm bringing the Chaos with Assault Rifles. And uh, so, one of my first uh, loadouts is the SA-805. It's a really good gun, it's really powerful, and uh, I like it a lot. I have the uh, grip and red dot on there. But it really reminds me of either the Remington from the Model 1 for 3, kind of, or really the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2. It's a really solid gun, and it's usually a 3 uh, to 4 shot kill at max. Usually, though, it's a 3 shot kill. It's really good, and I like using the foregrip on there, like I said. And uh, it's, it's just a great gun. I only have the first camo on it, though. Because I don't use it too often. I'm using my submachine gun guy a lot more. I have the M9A1 just standard because I don't really use pistols at all. Uh, I'm using my a IED. I like that lethal a lot. And I'm also using, I think, either the flashbang or uh, the concussion. And yes, I'm using the concussion. And uh, I also like the, the bang 9. It's what it's called uh, on, on everything. But on this, I have the concussions. And uh, but they're still pretty good, and uh, I have two tacticals on there, and uh, which is good. And same with the lethals. Uh, sometimes I have two lethals because it's just the IEDs in this game are amazing. The perks are marathon, quick draw, extra tactical, and fully loaded. Uh, quick draw you really need on this gun, and you also need marathon to uh, get a jump on your opponents uh, either by running up behind them. Or uh, aiming faster and uh, the tacticals you don't really need if you don't want to and fully loaded it's just so I have extra bullets because you do tend to run through bullets on this gun uh, and the perks are uh, the the support package that I have is just normal uh, like I usually had on my submachine gun classes which is the SATCOM the ammo crate and the Oracle uh, just a fantastic thing. If you ever want to swap it out for anything, I would suggest like the ballistic vest or uh, maybe even the uh, night owl or something like that. Something to give you an edge over your opponent. And actually, the ballistic vests are very, very good. Uh, this is my second class, the Remington RS or uh, R5. Uh, it's, it's a great weapon. It shoots really slow. I have the thermal hybrid on there it has a red dot already you can use this with any site but i really like this site and you'll see a little bit when the gameplay starts uh i really really like this gun it shoots at like 600 rpm uh it's that's not really fast and so i have the muzzle brake on there too to, to have extra range but uh it's just a really fantastic gun and will drop people in three bullets three or four bullets uh as you'll see uh when the gameplay comes up it's just a really fantastic gun and uh, I use it a lot. Uh, and it basically for me, it's a sniper rifle. Like, that's what it is to me. It's a full auto sniper rifle. I have my same pistol. I have my same lethals and tacticals in this. Uh, I changed the, the perks around, though. I have focus so that if I do get shot, I don't flinch as much. And quick draw, which is much needed. Uh, an extra tactical. And marathon. And uh, that's just so I can get to my uh, location faster and so that I can set up and snipe pretty much. And uh, of course I have the same support package uh, that I always run usually on these classes. Um, I don't run attack very often because if I don't get it then I'm not really helping my team. So support package is, is the way I go. Uh, this gun is just great. I love it. I would suggest you guys use it and either use it as a sniper rifle or use it as a regular gun with a red dot. Either way, the Remington is an amazing uh, gun and uh, so is the SA-805. Uh, both are great. I'm using that right now and you'll see me pick off a few people and uh, whatnot. So, uh, by the way guys, I, I, I like to say that I'm not doing a lot of Call of Duty after this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing more reviews or more weapon layouts of Bring the Chaos. Uh, but I think I'll finish it out by doing at least light machine guns and maybe maybe something else. But that's about it. I know I still have like shotguns and, and uh, uh, sorry, the, the sniper rifles and the marksman rifles. I'm not going to do all of them. Because I'm not really a sniper, and I'm not really the marksman. 
the best one I could show you for that is probably the SVU, I think it is. It's probably the best one on there if you really want to do it. And shotguns, I really have no idea. So I'm definitely going to be doing the LMGs, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything else. Uh, let me know if you want me to do anything else. And, uh, and in this gameplay, I don't do too well uh, before I end it off, but I don't, I don't do great. Uh, I, I end up going pretty good at the end. I think it's like 30 and 12. I can't remember. But uh, maybe it's higher than that. But anyways, it, it's a pretty good gameplay, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, this this gun is really meant for medium range. Uh, it, it excels. I know. I know that's kind of saying it, kind of back at, you know, back ass word. So uh, it's kind of stupid to say because it's an assault rifle, and assault rifles are meant for good for long range and medium range. But uh, yeah, it's really good for medium range. It just takes people out so fast. Uh, same with the Remington, but I believe that gun is more for long range because I could just pick people off from any range with that gun and kill people. It doesn't matter if you have a red dot, doesn't matter if you have a thermal, uh, you just beat people's asses with it. So either way, it's really good. Uh, and they have the same amount of uh, clip size that a lot of the assault rifles have. Is, is 30. I think the FAD has like 40 or 50 or something like that. Um, and then if you put extended mags, it's like 65, uh, which is crazy. You're getting up into the light machine gun ammo uh, at that point. But uh, I will talk about that later. Um, the AK-12 is a really good weapon as well. A lot of people like that. And same with the Honey Badger. Uh, both weapons are kind of uh, situational. Uh, and how you use them and how how you move around with them uh, the built-in silencer on the honey badger is is good I like it and uh, but it's only used in certain situations and certain ways that you have to play with it so uh, I don't always like to use it and uh, the AK-12 is a really powerful weapon everybody uses it I try to stay away from the weapons that people that everybody uses uh, but, you know, sometimes it's hard to do that, uh, but the AK-12 is very good, it has really good iron sights, so, if you want to use that weapon, or the honey badger, you guys can, but these are the guns that I'm suggesting you guys run, and, uh, you can switch in and out of the perks if you want, but, uh, it doesn't really matter, just use the guns, and use the, uh, attachments that I have for them, and you'll be, uh, A-OK. -okay. Uh, also, this map is amazing. I love this map. This is probably the third favorite map I have is Octane. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, so it's probably their first, and I don't know how I didn't see that guy. Uh, but, yeah, and if I didn't mention already, I am playing Domina Domination, if you haven't been able to figure that out. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 not a great, great gameplay, but it's, a, it's an okay gameplay. I just... Uh, I really wish that I spent more time uh, with these weapons uh, because I am a submachine gun guy. I, I use that more, but uh, I really like this weapon because it is like the Peacekeeper, just like I said. Uh, it can hit long range, it hits medium range really good, and it can even be good in close quarters. Uh, so uh, yeah, you'll see the uh, gameplay of the Remington coming up. And uh, I pick people off. I pick a few people off, but I don't pick up, pick out as many as I want, um, which is unfortunate. So uh, I was trying to get you guys good gameplay of this, but I just couldn't do it. So uh, sorry about that. I'll try to get some better gameplay for you guys. Uh, that's really all I have to talk about. Use these guns. Let me know how they work out for you guys. Uh, I think it's awesome. I didn't get that last guy. I can't believe I didn't do that. But anyways, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys think about this. I think the thermal sight is really good. Some people believe the thermal sight is kind of a pussy way out of, uh, of uh, sniping, kind of. Uh, I really like it. I actually have it on my SVU as well. It just makes uh, sights clear. I mean, I can snipe with a regular sniper rifle. But uh, I really like using the thermal scopes because it's just so much clearer. And I can switch to a red dot anytime I want. 
um, but I don't do it in this gameplay. It's just it's just a fantastic attachment. So I would suggest using it like that. I use it as a sniper rifle, and uh, that's that's about it. So if you guys really want to watch the rest of the gameplay, you guys can. Uh, but I think I should end the commentary here. There's about I don't know probably a minute left of the gameplay a minute or two and i don't show you the end score uh because i just ran out of time but you can see my k death uh up there kill death ratio up at the top uh right now i think it's 21 and 7 i think uh but yeah guys if you guys want to stay and watch the rest of the gameplay that's awesome but uh this has been the chaos prophet saying don't get lost in the chaos later guys